Go. This is sequence number one. Go. Welcome to sequence lesson number one. You should only be here if you have completed one of your lesson cycles and you're ready to move on. You should be here if you're starting sequence. Okay, so let's look at sequence number one. Uh, it says, introducing sequence. Sequence is the order. Go ahead and write in order. Sequence is the order in which things happen. When you look at sequence, you figure out when one event happens in relation to another. Okay, so you figure out um, one event happens in relation to another, such as what happens first, next, and last. Okay, in fiction, the sequence of events is called the plot. Go ahead and write in plot. You can use these tips to figure out sequence. Look for help. I'm sorry. Look for events that happen. Think about whether each event happens before or after the other events. Look for times, days, and dates to help you put events in order. As you read, look for for look for event words that signal sequence words such as first then next before after and finally help you follow the sequence words and phrases that represent times Days and dates such as now, yesterday, next week, Tuesday, and at 5.30 p.m. are also clues. Okay? Think about it. Read the paragraph below. Identify the sequence. How can you make ice into a work of art? Make an ice sculpture. First, select a container that is the shape and size you want for your sculpture. For example, you can use an empty milk carton or a tin can. This will be your ice mold. Before you use the mold, clean it with soap and water. Number one, what clue words do you see? Okay, so we're looking for clue words for sequence. Remember in our notes we said clue words were first, then, next, times, or days. Do you see any of those here? I see this word, before. Do you see any more? Let's write down before. Okay, what is the first thing you do if you want to make an ice sculpture? I see another clue word that I didn't see before. It's right there. It says first. Okay, that's going to tell us that this is the first thing you do, right? So, when it says, what is the first thing you do if you want to make an ice sculpture, we need to look at this sentence. Select a container that is the shape and size you want for your sculpture. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put first here. Because it's not enough space to copy down the sentence, I'm going to put an arrow right there. Okay, so we're going to select a container that's the shape and size you want for your sculpture. Number three, what should you do before you use a container as a mold? Okay, so my hint is this word before. I know that I already underlined the word before because that was a clue word. So I'm going to go back to it. Before you use the mold, clean it with soap and water. So this says, what should you do before you use a container as mold? Right here it says, clean it with soap and water. So we're going to write that down. Clean it with soap and water. Let's continue to look at the strategy. Use a strategy. This strategy is called monitor and clarify. When you monitor and clarify, you check to make sure you understand the ideas in the text. Go ahead and write down ideas. To monitor your understanding, pause often to make sure that what you have read makes sense. Okay, again, you're going to pause often to make sure 
that what you've read makes sense. You can restate your, restate your ideas in your own words. Also, if an idea is unclear, reread to clarify. Okay, once you have all of these notes written down for sequence lesson one, you are ready to turn your page over to the back and start the assignment. Let's go ahead and look at how to use what you learned. The directions say, read the passage, use the notes on the side to help you, then answer the questions on the next page. So, I'm going to see that this title is How to Make an Ice Sculpture. I see a picture of an ice sculpture. That looks like a dragon to me. Very cool. So I'm guessing, I'm going to predict that this is going to be about how to make an ice sculpture. It's probably going to give us details of how we do it. Let's look at sequence. It says, the note on the side says, pay attention to the order of events as you read. Um, another... A um, note to help us is monitor and clarify. Pause and restate what you have read to make sure you understand the passage. Another note to help us sequence, look for clue words that signal the order of events. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking for as we read. How to make an ice sculpture. How can you make ice into a work of art? Make an ice sculpture. First, select a container that is the shape and size you want for your sculpture. Okay, I see a clue word right now, so I'm going to go ahead and underline that first, right? That's an order word. For example, you can use an empty milk carton or a tin can. This will be your mold. Before you use the mold, clean it with soap and water. Here's another clue word. It says before. Okay, I'm going to underline that. Please make sure you're underlining those clue words. Next, oh, there is an order word too, as, or a sequence word. Let's underline that. Next, fill a pitcher with water. Before, there's before again. I'm going to underline that. Before you pour it into the mold, add something special. Add food coloring to make colored ice. Add glitter. Experiment by adding an object such as a small figure. When you are ready to pour, put the mold in the freezer. Okay, that word when is also a time word, right? So we're going to underline that. Make sure it is lying flat. Then pour in the water. Then is a time word. I'm going to underline that word. Do not fill the mold to the top because the water will expand as it freezes. After 48 to 72 hours in the freezer, your sculpture will be ready. I see in that sentence the word after, which also indicates time or order. So I'm going to underline it. Take the mold out of the freezer and put it face down on a flat pan or plate. Then, here's another then, I'm going to underline that. Leave it for several minutes until the mold can easily lift off your sculpture. Your work of art is now complete. Okay, so we found a lot of clue words. We're ready to go and look at the questions on the back. Okay, so first it gives us an example and a step-by-step -step of how to answer the question. So let's look at the example question. Choose the correct answer. Use the steps at the right to help you answer the question. The question is, when do you clean the mold with soap and water? A, before you use it. B, after you pour in the water. C, before you select a container. Or D, after it is in the freezer for 48 to 72 hours. Let's look at a step-by-step -step way to answer the question. It says, number one, look for the event in the text. I reread re and find the sentence that includes directions about soap and water. So let's go look for that. I see that when it says soap and water, here's soap and water. So I want to reread the whole sentence. Before you use the mold, clean it with soap and water. Step two, look for clue words that signal sequence. I see the word before in the sentence, which we did underline that word, so we know it's a clue word. Three, look for the next event. I see the directions say to clean the mold before I use it. So that lets us know what the answer is. 
A before you use it. So we're going to circle A. Okay? Let's go ahead and try doing two, four questions on our own. The directions say, now read each question, circle the letter of the best answer. Number one, when do you add special things to the water? A, while the liquid expands. B, before you pour it into the mold. C, when the mold is filled to the top. D, after it is time to take it out of the mold. So we want to find this in the text first, then find the clue word, and then that'll help us. Um, then we look for the next event to help us answer the question. So let's look at that again. It says, when do you add special things to the water? Let's flip back to the text. And it says, I see in the second paragraph, I see it talking about water here. So I'm going to read that sentence next. Fill a pitcher with water. Nope, that doesn't talk about special things. Let me see the next sentence. Before you pour it into the mold, add something special. All right, so that tells me um, that this is when we add something special. And my clue word, we already underlined it, is before. So before you, before, sorry, I'm on the wrong before. Before you pour it into the mold, add something special. Let's go back and use that to help us answer the question. I see it right there at B, before you pour it into the mold. So I know my answer is B. Number two, you pour the water into the mold after. Okay, so we want to know when do you pour the water into the mold. So let's see, is it A, the liquid freezes, B, the mold lifts off easy, C, you take your sculpture out, or D, you put the mold in the freezer. So we're going to look for this phrase, you pour the water into the mold after. Let's look for that. Do you see it? I'm going to, I can't find it, so I'm going to look for if I circled, underlined any after. So I see right here, after 48 to 72 hours in the freezer, your sculpture will be ready. Well, that's not what it asked. So let me go back and look at the question and see what I'm looking for. You pour the water into the mold after. Okay, so I'm looking for pour the water into the mold. So let's see if we can see that. I know that we did, we added something special before we poured it, so I'm assuming that it's ready, it's going to be after that. So let's see. When you are ready to pour, put the mold in the freezer. Make sure it is lying flat, then pour in the water. Okay, so those three sentences tell us about when we're going to pour the mold into the water. So let's look again at our, our um, possible answers. It says, you pour the water into the mold after you, I see right there, it says after you put the mold in the freezer. That was the event that it said, so I'm going to circle D. That's the correct answer. Number three, what do you do after you pour the water into the mold? A, clean it with soap and water. B, keep it in the freezer for hours. C, make sure the mold is lying flat. D, get an empty milk carton or a tin can. I want you to do three on your own. You need to find it in the story and figure out by using your clue words which is the correct answer. When you're done with that, go to number four and attempt number four on your own own. Okay, go ahead and push pause so you can do that now. All right, you should have finished three and four on your own independently. Now you want to make sure that you come over to, we just did sequence lesson number one. So I'm going to check off sequence lesson number one. So I see that there's, if I still have time in class, I need to immediately go to sequence number two. Two. I'm going to hit pause and go find sequence lesson number two um, where it is in the classroom and then I'm going to come back to my seat quietly and select video sequence lesson number two.